What's up YouTube? I hope everyone is enjoying their first month of 2022. I first started watching YouTube when I was 14 and all I watched was makeup tutorials. Today I am recording a makeup tutorial which is like so bizarre to me because even though I've been watching these videos for so long I always feel like these people are just like artists and there is absolutely no way I'm ever going to be as good as these people and I still to this day feel that way so putting a makeup tutorial out is kind of like it feels vulnerable to me. Anyways I have watched so many videos Videos and watch so many people be like absolutely incredible at doing their makeup and I've come to the realization that you don't have to be incredible to do everyday makeup <laughs> It's taken me a couple years to kind of figure out how to do makeup that looks good in like 10 minutes tops. I've just learned how to do my everyday makeup in a very imperfect way. I don't feel like I am a makeup artist or guru or whatever by any means. This is what I do every day for my face. When I first wanted to like adapt to an everyday makeup routine, I wanted it to be something that looked more than just like I put on my foundation and my mascara and that was it. But I also didn't want it to take me like 20 years. This has taken me a while, but I've gotten in a routine. If Sam and I go out or something like that, I'll do it differently and I'll take more time to do it and make it look a little bit better, I guess. This is literally what I do every day and it takes me less than 10 minutes. So I am gonna walk through how I did this on camera. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's just get this video started. I don't even know how to start this video. Oh, my hair is frizzy. What is this cowlick going on here? Do I have curly hair? All right, all right, okay. What's up YouTube? I'm gonna do my everyday makeup tutorial today. I've showered, my hair is in the process of air drying. I'm somehow growing a curl. I've never in my life had curly hair, but somehow I'm vibing with it today. So I'm just gonna put it up in a clip. I always feel like I look like a schoolboy with my hair up in a banana clip. I already put my moisturizer on my face and shower after I took a shower this morning. But the first thing I do is put on concealer. I use Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. And I use this in the shade Light Natural. I just take this and rub it on both fingers and like dab it under my eye, on top of my eye. I have a really red face, so I tend to like do this in problem areas as well. Even though it says under eye, I tend to do this kind of everywhere and just pat it in with my fingers. I do it on top of my eyes too because I have like little baby um, purple veins on top of my eyes. Just pat it everywhere, kind of roughly because I'll take the beauty sponge later with my foundation. So now that I have super white raccoon eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on. I am gonna use my new blender sponge. Why can I never remember? Beauty blender. I'm gonna use my new beauty blender. This is like the best thing I've ever bought. It's like not just a face one, it's like the body and face one. And it's like the size of my palm. It's the best thing ever. It's already wet. And I'm gonna put a little bit of my liquid foundation on it. I use the Studio Skin 24 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation from Smashbox. And I use this in the shade 2.12, which is skin tone light with undertones neutral. And I'm just gonna work this into my face, dabbing it everywhere and then blending it in. I'm also gonna go into my under eyes where I just put that really light color to kind of like make my raccoon eyes go away. Okay, now that my liquid's on and I feel like I've blended out those super raccoon under eyes, I'm just going to set it with some powder. I use Max Studio Fix powder in the shade NW22. Baby, 
And all I'm gonna do is just lightly pat that on my face, bring it down into my neck. Okay, now that my powder's set, I'm just going to add some bronzer to define my face a little bit. I use Anastasia's Beverly Hills bronzer in the color Rich Amber. This is a pretty deep bronzer, so when I first do it, I just kind of like lightly pat it right under my cheekbones, that way I don't get too much color at once. And I also go up into my forehead on like my hairline and pat it in there as well, tracing my hairline into my jawline. And then I'm gonna take it down, just T-line it into my nose and out just a little bit. And then after I'm done dabbing, I just go back and brush through those dabs now that there's not a lot of powder left on the brush. And then if I ever feel like I got too much color, I'll just take my cloth and gently rub against it to take away some of that bronzer. Okay, so after I'm done with bronzer, I like to put a little bit of blush on. I just recently got into blush. I kind of used to like steer clear of blush because I have really, really red skin naturally. And so I just felt like I didn't need blush. But in the winter time, I like to do it because I feel like it gives this like wind chill appearance. So I do a little bit of blush and I don't have that many blushes. So I'm gonna use my new blush from Benefit. It is the Sugar Bomb blush that everyone raves about. I'm gonna use the little brush that comes with it. I've got a little bit of blush on this guy, so all I'm gonna do is right above the line where my bronzer is, I'm gonna lightly dab. And then I'm going to wipe away some of that excess and then take the brush again and just blend it in. All right, now that I'm done with my blush, I am gonna put a little bit of highlighter on. Today I'm gonna use Too Faced Turn Up The Light palette. I have like favorite brands for things. Like I think Smashbox and MAC are really good for like foundations. I feel like Too Faced is really good for highlighters. Anastasia is really good for bronzers. Benefit is really good for eyebrows. So I always stick to like certain brands for things. Anyways, I'm using Too Faced Turn Up The Light palette today and they have like three different colors in this palette. So they have the glow, the soft focus, and the dark. I'm gonna use the glow today and I always take a little bit on my finger and then all I'm gonna do is just kind of like lightly put it over where I put that blush on my cheekbones very very lightly and then I'm gonna grab a little bit more and put it under my eyebrows and that's it that's all I do for highlighter. The next thing I'm gonna focus on are my eyebrows so like I said I always go towards benefits prod benefits La 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 la. I always go towards Benefits products for eyebrows because I feel like their stuff is awesome. I have been using Benefits Browsing's Pro Palette forever. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. I use it in the shade light medium. They also have like a medium dark and then an extra light one. As you can tell, my palette is extremely, extremely overused. It comes with like three different shades of the wax, one of which is clear, but my clear one kind of even looks like one of the brown ones because of how much I've used it and then it comes with four different shades of powder from light to dark I'm gonna start by using this dark shade of the wax because it's like one of the only ones that I have left I really need to buy a new palette so I'm gonna take their little brush that comes with the palette and just get a little bit of that wax on here Ooh, almost forgot just shape out my eyebrows a little bit first so then what I do with this guy is I start from the middle and just work that wax color into my eyebrow. My eyebrows are super, super thin. And then at the end, I just like elongate the end of my eyebrow. I really feel like when you make the tail of your eyebrow kind of longer, it just frames out your face really nicely. And then when there's not a lot, a lot of wax left on it, I do the tippy top.
Okay, so then once I get to a place where I like the wax on both of these and I feel like my eyebrows are shaped the way that I want them to, I go back to my palette and I'm gonna take their little powder brush and get some of this semi-dark color. And then I just like lightly fill in my eyebrows. The powder just takes that waxy look away and it makes it just look a little bit more natural in my opinion. The last thing I like to do with my eyebrows is get rid of these like very abrupt lines. I feel like when you have abrupt lines in the middle of your face like this with your eyebrows, it makes your eyebrows look unnatural. Brushing this away and just kind of brushing out that the wax and the powder gives it a little bit more of like a hair appearance rather than wax. I just take the little brush or the little um, eyebrow shaper that I took to shape my eyebrows to begin with and I'll go in and just brush out the eyebrow to make it look more natural. See, I feel like this one already looks a little bit better than this one. This is just like a very dark, abrupt eyebrow and this one just kind of like blends into the darkness. So let me go ahead and do this side. After I finish my eyebrows, I go on to my eyelids. I have always struggled a little bit with eyeshadow. I, like I said, I've been watching these videos for, or YouTube gurus and like makeup artists for over 10 years now. And I have always been scared to like adopt some sort of eyeshadow routine for myself because I feel like the people that do these makeup tutorials and all these gurus out here, they are like literally artists at this stuff. And I am by no means at that level of eyeshadow expertise. I just recently started getting into eyeshadow maybe within like the past few years but this is what I do every day and it is very how do I say this imperfect nothing about this routine is perfect it's gonna look crazy and weird but this is what I do every day so Let's just do it. I am trying to decide what palette I want to use. So I use, sometimes I use different eyeshadow palettes. I've done my research on different eyeshadow colors that work well for different color eyes. For blue eyes, oranges, browns, stuff like that really make your eyes pop. But I also like the grays and stuff like that too. So I've got my Naked 3 palette, which my girlfriend Amanda got me this palette for my birthday back in college. And I loved it so much and used it so quickly that I got myself another one recently, so I love this Urban Decay's Naked Palettes. I have two of their Naked Palettes and love them. But I also recently got this Truth or Bear Palette by Morph, and I think I might use this one for this tutorial. This is like a $20 palette that I got, and it's seriously awesome. I think I'm gonna go with this palette today. This palette has all those like orangey colors that really are, work well for blue eyes. Even like these purple colors work really well for blue eyes. So the first thing I do is pick out a dark color that I wanna put at the corners of my eyes. I think for this tutorial, I might go ahead and use this dark color right here for the corner of my eyes. Just gonna take my brush, get a little bit of the color on there, and pat it out. Okay, so this is the best part of my makeup routine because of how imperfect it, it is. So I've got a little bit of the dark color, and I am seriously gonna like very roughly pat it into this corner of my eye. And it's gonna look like I have a black eye when I'm done. It's so imperfect, and that's what I wanted about my everyday makeup routine. I wanted it to look like I was doing my makeup and I put effort into it, but I didn't want it to take a lot of time. Yes, look at those black eyes. Need to get into like WWE or something. Boom, baby. That's it, that's all I do. <laughs> just kidding, it's not done. But it looks like I have black eyes. Like I just so imperfectly patted it into that half of my eye. So the next thing I'm gonna do is pick like a lighter shade to go on top of my lid. Okay, so I'm kind of liking this one up here. So I'm just gonna take my brush and get a little bit of that. Okay and I'm just gonna roughly do this right on my eyelid. Okay, just patted that on top of my eyelid and I'm gonna do it to the other side now. It's 
still looks crazy, but I still have to put a light color on these creases. So that's what I'm gonna pick next. And I'm just gonna dab that into the crease of my eye. Also with this light color, I go up into the dark color. It looks so imperfect, but ignore that. We're gonna blend it. All right, I'm gonna do that again on my other eye. Okay, this is the most important part. This is so crazy right now. Like seriously, it really does look like I have black eyes. Nothing is blended. There's like weird powder just floating around over here. So the very last thing I do is take my blender brush. I use this to blend my eyes every single day. It's like memory, like muscle memory at this point. So I just kind of like blend it all until it gets this like smoky appearance and it only takes like 30 seconds. It's probably gonna take longer because I'm trying to do it on camera right now. So what I'm gonna do is take my blender brush and pull that light color again into the dark color and then just kind of like swirl it out. And then you'll take your brush once you've got some powder on it and wipe it off to make sure you don't keep getting powder everywhere. And I just keep doing this until those lines are gone. So you can definitely see the difference now. This is just like very subtle. Okay, and that's that, they're all blended out. It is super, super subtle, but it just gives a little bit more definition to your eyes. It's like this very light, smoky eye. If I ever feel like when I blend it out, if I get too much of this dark color, like up towards my eyebrow, what I'll do is just take a little bit more highlight and put a final highlight right over here and it just calms that dark color a little bit down. But that is how I do my eyeshadow every single day. I don't usually wear eyeliner every day, I just put some mascara on, so I'll curl my eyelashes first. The mascara I use is the Lash Stiletto by Maybelline. This is seriously my favorite mascara ever. I'm gonna use this in the shade black. I don't think I've ever used a mascara in any shade other than black. That's it, my eyes are done, mascara's on. The only other thing that I would do from here is sometimes I put some lipstick on. I don't usually even really care if my lipstick wears off throughout the day. I really just put the lipstick on to get rid of this like foundation color appearance. So today I'm gonna use Max Matte Lipstick and this is in the color Baited Breath. Okay, that's the final look. That is all I do for my makeup, bronzer, foundation, eyes, everything. And it takes me less than 10 minutes every day to do my makeup. So now all I have left to do is my hair and I'm ready for the day. So that was it. Hopefully I explained a little bit on just like what I do. I always just do some like dark, medium, light and then blend it to do the eyes. It becomes like muscle movement after a while and I've gotten really used to that and now it's just like super easy for me to do my eyes. I will link all of the products down below. I will post more videos like this because it was a lot of fun. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll link everything down below. If you like this content, like this video. Thank you guys again for watching. Bye YouTube.